Hey YouTubers, it's Brent from Extended Play Arcade. Um, I got a quick pickup from last night. I went to uh, Digital Press uh, Video Games uh, in New Jersey. It's uh, kind of northern New Jersey. It's off of Route 46. Um, definitely check them out. Great video game store, great people. Um, I actually went there with some friends. I met uh, Rob McCallum, which is, uh, he's doing a video game documentary on um, the NES Club. Um, I'm sure you guys heard about it. It's a great documentary. Um, they actually interviewed me. I don't know why, but it's pretty cool. I, I You know, maybe because I'm a collector and uh, from the looks of it, I'm one of those odd collectors because I actually want uh, games that I actually want to play uh, instead of those games that people are sought after just to have. You know, uh, I don't have a whole ton of money. Um, so I actually just want to pick up the games that I played, either I rented it, you know, the local game store or whatever, whatever, you know, all that stuff. Um, so it, it's, you know, it is what it is, but, uh, but Rob McCallum was a very cool guy, super knowledgeable. I mean, blew me away with his knowledge. Um, a lot of people probably think he's just some kind of like producer guy, but no, he's a gamer straight up. Um, it's really solid and, uh really highly impressed with everything that he knew so it was pretty cool it was pretty cool hanging out i also uh met my buddy uh matt miller there and his wife uh michelle ireland so that that was a lot of fun um they both got interviewed as well um their team mayhem which is a great team i don't know why they're mayhem they're they're like the nicest people in the world you would never think that they were had anything to do with mayhem but uh they definitely got a a ton of world records i mean it's it's insane they have a lot of co-op world records but anyway enough about that let's get to uh what i picked up so i got some pretty cool stuff i think i got some pretty good prices um first i know you're gonna rag on me but i got a sega saturn uh i don't have many sega saturn games i do have a sega saturn but um i got this one it was cheap it was only uh two bucks or one ninety nine, I should go, and uh, you know it's complete. Um, you know these the problem with these Sega Saturn things they always crack because they're so giant. Made it a, but you know the game's in good condition. Um, uh, I'm still collecting my hockey. Uh, you know if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm I'm big into the uh, the hockey game, so I'm trying to collect my goal is to collect every hockey video game ever made it's going to be a pretty tough goal but hey you know what the hell everybody's got something in life so i got that i got a <laughs> we were me and uh matt miller were joking about um and and rob as well were joking about what was the game that had that diagonal football and it had like the joe morris guy and the giants I don't know if this actually had Joe Morris because it's not officially licensed, but it had the likeness of the guys. And literally, you can run side down the field and just run right up the field and win every single game. So I bought that because it was only two bucks and I didn't have it. So, you know what? I figured I'd get it because that's just the kind of guy I am. All right. And another hockey game. I got this one. I don't have this game. It's in uh, NHL 99. Um, so far I've gotten nothing but sports games, so don't worry, it gets better. Hang in there, don't, don't, uh, don't, uh, shut the browser. So, NHL 99 for the N64. Again, two bucks, $1.99. And let's get down to the nitty gritty. I got some really, oh, oh, wait, wait, one more sports game. Sorry, sorry. But this one's signed by the guy who has the world record in 10-yard fight, which is pretty cool. Uh, is Matt Miller. I got... Matt's signature, and he wrote something on the back. That the only reason I bought this because I wanted Matt to sign it. So, uh, very cool. Um, so I got all that stuff. So those are all the sports games I got. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I got one game that I've been dying to get for the longest time. I love this game, and I don't think people appreciate it as much as I do. But this is one of my favorite games as a kid. It's an Intellivision game, which was basically my first console. And it's called Snafu. 
Um, it's kind of like, uh, you know, ever play that Tron, uh, the Tron game in the arcade where you have the light cycles? Uh, it's the same thing. Um, it's complete in box. It's got all the information, literature, carts in great shape. Tested and whatnot. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm starting to lose my voice. Um, I love to get my Intellivision games complete in box because I had these all when I was a kid. It was only $5.99, which I think is a great price. Um, you know, if I include shipping and all that other stuff, probably balance is the same. But I, I love this game. I, I actually am dying to put in my uh, Intellivision to play this game. I actually think complete in box is a pretty good price. I think it's a little bit more on the internet. So, uh, you know, in a $7 range, nothing major. <coughs> so, <coughs> there goes my, my voice is starting to go. So, um, and then I got some pretty cool cards. I had one really cool card, but I let Matt have it um, because uh, I already had too much stuff anyway. And you got to remember, giving a letting another friend have a game it's like you having a game, you know what I mean? You know, that's how it works. So it's not like anything bad or anything like, you know, oh my God, I'm never going to see that game, you know? So anyway, I did get, love these odd NES carts. I got clocks. So it's in really good shape. I think it's actually a lot, uh, worth a lot more than, than $4.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I jumped up on that. Um, I love these Tengen, uh, crazy carts <clears throat> and last but not least which i thought was my best buy of the night which you know these aren't our fabulous gets or anything because i'm cheap and i like to lot get a lot of games and I'll, you know i'll have fun play these things you know all that stuff but i got roadrunner for uh tengen i mean i thought it was a pretty good deal um it is i paid 8.99 i know you're gonna be like brand you don't pay 8.99 that much holy cow but i think this game's you know, it's probably in the nine, ten, eleven dollar range. Um, it's in good shape. You know, it has. Uh, you know, it's tested. It's uh, it's working hundred percent because the place I go to, Digital Press, has you know a, a you know rack where it has untested and tested, and this one's one of those tested ones. So I couldn't I couldn't resist and I got it. So <clears throat> that's all it. So basically, I got the Roadrunner. I got Clax. Uh, two Tengen titles for uh, NES. I got my Snafu, which I've been dying for this thing. Um, the box is in really good condition. I mean, this thing game is old. Um, it's got a, had a little tape on here to keep it closed. I, I didn't see that, but <clears throat> I mean, I I knew that was there. It was just one of those things. It's it's not killing me, but it's tough to keep these things in great condition. Um, again, I got some sports titles. NHL '99, the signed. 10 yard fight, NES play action, and NHL 97. So I don't know what I paid. I think I paid like 27 bucks for the whole uh, dealio. To me, that's a good price because um, I mean, probably the only game I didn't play is uh, I haven't played this game and this two games. Other every other game I've played along the lines, and uh, I have a little memory behind it. And isn't that what you know retro gaming is all about? So anyway, um, another cool thing I did get, Rob McCallan signed a uh, signed a little poster here from the NES Club. So I'd say if you guys search that on Facebook, check it out. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on on how my interview went, how much I'm actually going to be it. I might just be totally cut out of it because I probably sucked. So, but anyway, um, it's all good. Um, hope you guys are having fun and uh, click like, subscribe. And uh, let me know, comment below if I'm uh, doing a good job or whatever else you guys want to see. Um, my next video, I might go into my collection and do... Uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice. Might go into my collection and do like my uh, my greatest uh, collection or like the greatest score. So I'll just concentrate on one. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to mix it up instead of just doing pickup videos and whatnot because pickup videos are pretty easy. So, but anyway, that's it. Um, talk to you later. Peace.